everybody welcome back to my channel my name is marcy if this is your first time here if you are a returning subscriber uh thank you for coming back i thank you for you know supporting your girl today it's a little bit crazy here i thought it would be much quieter but you know it's uh i think it's about 90 degrees in southern sunny southern california and everybody wanted to go to the beach so i decided to go to the beach as well and then we're going to be discussing beach fragrances so um what better way to discuss beach fragrances than at the beach you know give you guys a little bit of a scenery you know you can see the ocean behind me all the beach umbrellas the beautiful sunny skies um, and then hopefully you all can hear me and then we're gonna be able to discuss beach fragrances um, first follow me on Instagram it's Marcinello M-A-R-C-E M-E-L-L-0-W we have a lot of fun over there a lot of pictures reels lives and you know uh, after the video though go ahead and follow me over on Instagram I'm so glad to be here with you all today you know like I said hopefully in your country or your state you can get some sun as well get out enjoy the weekend have an amazing time and you know just relax before we get back to that busy work week on Monday so anyway we're gonna be talking about beach fragrances today most of these fragrances are fruity florals they have a lot of tropical notes um, they have a lot of coconut pineapple mango um, some of these are I picked a lot of the fragrances that are pretty light in scent uh, pretty aromatic ozonic you know uh, floral fruities more tropical scents and um you know i just wanted to come to y'all today and you know sorry <laughs> no i don't need an umbrella I actually want to absorb the sun and you know i don't even carry cash on you all um so anyway let's get back to what i was discussing so um a lot of these have like um you know a lot of really tropical fruit scents um that are you know inside and uh we're just going to be discussing about i think i have about 10 of them that i lugged it to the beach today and it was so heavy you know on top of me having to find something to keep them cool because you know if they stay in the hot sun for too long that they can spoil so anyway so let's get this party started and um the first fragrance we're going to talk about is tibet and I actually brought them, y'all. Can you believe it? See, I do the work. I do the work. So anyway, this is Tibet. Okay, now in Tibet, this is um, this is Tibet by Tiziana Terendi. So in Tibet, we have uh, it's a floral woody musk. Um, it's sweet caramel, wood, green, vanilla. So in this, you have bergamot, peach. You have sand at the beach um, you have coconut cotton candy vanilla and amber I'm not gonna give you all the notes but these are just some of the notes um, because I didn't want to you know um, explain too much y'all y'all know you can go get the notes on a fra fragrantica okay so um, I love 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 this fragrance it's very tropical you can smell the coconut the peaches it's really sweet um, most of Tiziana Terenzi's fragrances they last about uh about four to six hours on the skin and on clothing they're pretty beast mode um they last about maybe eight to ten hours so you can definitely get a good wear out of this i definitely recommend to bit this is a really good blind buy and this is definitely a spring summer scent and it's super tropical i'm not going to spray it out here you guys today the top is amazing i'm not going to explain all of that on every single one but you know it's an amazing fragrance you know and it smells really, really good. It smells like a uh, coconut. Um, it says it has cotton candy inside, but I just get a sweet note and the vanilla note um, on top of the um, other fruity florals. All right, the next one we're gonna talk about is Andromeda, it's sister. So Andromeda is also by Tiziana Terenzi, um, and this is definitely a tropical, beachy, vacation type scent. Um, the same top, you know this fragrance is amazing as well um, I'll go ahead and read you the notes and the notes it's considered an amber floral um, it's yellow florals it's sweet um, there's vanilla you know inside so in th the notes in this one it's um, peach pear you have lily you have white heliotrope you have cashmere in, you have damask rose there's so many notes in uh, Tiziana Terenzi's perfumes but they all pretty much smell tropical uh, the ones that we're going to be talking about today Andromeda is super popular amongst a lot of women um, and you know that's pretty much all I have to say to me it's a great blind buy you know it's pretty much it's kind of close to Tibet except Tibet is slightly sweeter um, and Andromeda is more fruity 
It's a, it's an amazing fragrance. This is a very elegant fragrance. You can wear this, you know, like I said, on vacation, um, to the beach, to the beach out, like for dinner on a hot summer night. Um, they last in a, a long time. Excuse me if you guys see like sweat dripping down my face, but it's a bit hot out here. Uh, but they're amazing. So get your nose on um, Andromeda by Tiziana Terenzi. It's delicious, you all. I'm gonna try not to get distracted by people behind me and you know the water and the beautiful umbrellas and the people staring at me at the top where the pier is <laughs> so anyway um this is a new fragrance that i just purchased and this is uh where did i do it i can't seem to find it sorry y'all Oh, here it is in my face. So this is um, D&G, um, and this is a pretty um, inexpensive fragrance. And this is a, a L, or how, can, how do you pronounce this? This is Limpatrice, and this is more of a fruity, um, watermelon type scent it's really really fruity it's aromatic ozonic it's really fresh you know i would definitely recommend this for the daytime you know um a day out you know whatever um running errands things like that so in this um it says it's ozonic it's aquatic it's fresh it's sweet fruity and floral so in this you have watermelon you have strawberry um you have peony damask rose you have magnolia and vanilla this is a really good fragrance you know I think it was about $30 or $28 on fragrance net and um, it basically smells of watermelon and strawberries like a really aromatic fragrance so you know this is really good for the summer now summer spring when you're running errands um, this is not a, um, a dress up type fragrance this is more of a dress down fragrance but it's it's really good you know um, it doesn't last very long it lasts about three to four hours um, on the skin and clothes so um, don't expect too much out of this, but it is a very um, good fragrance scent. It smells like watermelon, if you love watermelon and strawberry scent. Okay, next, what would it be if I didn't bring um, the Sea Stars by Tiziana Terenzi to the beach? You know, it ha I had to do it. So this is Orza. Um, Orza is definitely, let me wipe my camera off y'all. Sorry, there was, I think, sand on there. Um, or the sand debris. Um, Orza is definitely a beautiful bottle. You see the sea stars. This is my favorite fragrance in the house of Tiziana Terenzi. Um, in Orza, it's considered a fruity floral. Um, you have coconut, caramel. Um, it's ambery, it's sweet, um, it's fruity, and it's floral at the same time. You have wild berries, coconut orchid, you have green apple, you have plum, magnolia, and you have um, rose, sorry, couldn't see that, you have rose. So um, this is a stunning, the, the top is stunning. You know, I love starfish. Um, the fragrance is amazing. This is a really, really kind of powdery, peachy, rosy, damask rose. It's kind of like Bulgarian and Turkish rose in this as well. Um, so this is a really great fragrance. This is a dress up um, summer nighttime fragrance or summer daytime fragrance, maybe an event that you have to go to. Uh, but this is a really good fragrance. I love this one and I believe that this is a safe blind buy. Now try to catch these Tiziana Terenzi's on sale. And so avant-garde, sometimes they have them for like 20, 30% off um, because they are pretty penny. So if you can, try to catch them on sale and they always have them. So don't rush into it. The next one we have is the sister, which is Talia. Talia is my next favorite Tiziana Terenzi fragrance. Um, this is an amazing dress up, tropical, beachy, fruity floral fragrance as well. And in Talia, it's considered a um, floral musk actually. Um, in Talia, you have pear, you have bergamot, you have rose, citrus, you have hawthorn, you have heliotrope, ylang ylang, and you have vetiver. Now this one um, has a little bit more of a, um, a musky note. Um, it's a little, it's like the big sister to Orza. Um, more of a musky note, but it is sweet. It is tropical. You do smell like the pear. Um, I smell a little bit of coconut in here as well. Um, it's not too citrusy. It's more like those sweet tropical fruits, um, you know, that you find in other countries. So anyway, this is a great one as well, and the bottle's stunning, and this is Talia, this is um, Tiziana Terenzi. Okay, next we have, you guys take a look at the beach. People are setting up their tents. Next we have, and this is getting warm, 
So next we have Ylang and Goat. I love, love Ylang and Goat. You just have to be careful not to spray this on your clothes though. Um, Ylang and Goat, I'm trying to talk close to the camera so that y'all can hear me. Um, Ylang and Goat, um, this is considered an ambery floral. Um, in the notes, you have peach, you have lychee, tangerine, you have sage, vanilla, you have, of course, Ylang Ylang, you have coconut, you have, um, oak moss and it's very aromatic this this fragrance to me has a little bit of a it's very tropical but it has a little bit of a banana-esque like a uh, tropical like pina colada slash banana colada if there is one you know but it's really delicious and then when you shake this fragrance up it actually gives you the gold, um, you know, a gold essence inside. So when you spray this on your skin, this, you know, when you're on vacation, you spray this on your skin. This is amazing. Um, it smells amazing. This is a, to me, this is a safe blind buy. This is a delicious fragrance. Um, the bottle stunning, everything about this. And this is by um, uh, Martin Mikolet, the house of Mikolet. And this is Yelang and Goat, great fragrance. So next we have Tom Ford. I only own two Tom Fords. One is Neroli Portofino and the next one is Soleil Blanc. Um, and it's the small, it's, this is the EDT um, Soleil Blanc. And this is an amazing tropical musky. It has a little bit of a slight animalic note to me, uh, fragrance, but I do love this. Um, this is, like I said, one of the two Tom Fords that I do own and I love. So um, in Soleil Blanc, it's considered an ambery floral. Um, you have coconut pistachio, which I did not know that pistachio was actually in here. Uh, pistachio, bergamot, you have pink pepper. I do smell the pink pepper, cardamom, jasmine, and tuberose. This is an amazing tropical fragrance, uh, vacation fragrance. I don't get too much of the tuberose in here, uh, but there is a slight, you know, scent of it. So don't be afraid, if you're afraid of tuberose, don't be afraid to smell this one because it's not as a uh, projecting in your face um, type tuberose. So this is good, y'all. Yeah. You definitely smell the coconut though, you know? So, there we go. Oh, so the next we have uh, by Michael Malal London. I discussed this on my channel as well last week. So um, go check out the video. Um, this is Joy de Vie, and this is an amazing fragrance. The bottle stunning. You know, I love this fragrance. Um, it's a fruity floral, and it's, it, this is really, really a great beachy scent, spring summertime scent. And um, in the notes, you have lotus, you have mandarin orange, you have uh, apple blossom, violet, magnolia, you have jasmine. This is a slight musky fruity floral, but it's it's really an amazing scent, y'all. Um, I know um, Michael Malo London, you have Atara, and you have um, Electric Heart. Uh, they're all amazing and stunning, but this one right here is definitely a beach scent. It lasts for about maybe four to six hours, four hours on your skin, about six hours on your clothes, uh, but you can definitely re-up and carry this. You know, it's pretty light in your purse or a small decant. Uh, but yeah, you guys, go ahead. Um, this is a very affordable fragrance as well. It's about maybe 40, all of the Michael Malos, Atara, Electric Heart, and Joy Deve, they're about um, 40 to $60. So it's very affordable. So get your nose on um, this. They have some stunning fragrances, y'all. The next one we have, the oldie but goodie. This is a JLo Miami Glow. You know, I've been wearing this since I've been um, the age of 19 years old. And Miami Glow is considered like a tropical fruity floral. In this you have coconut, you have coconut milk actually. Um, you have pink grapefruit, orange blossom, and you have heliotrope and vanilla, and there's more. But you know, I'm not gonna read you all the notes today. So this is, um, a really great fragrance for any time, any place, anywhere, but definitely a summer spring fragrance. You get a little bit more of like a passion fruit coconut smell from this, um, but it's a really great fragrance. It only lasts about three to four hours, um, but you know, it's only about $29 a bottle now. Back then it was like $80 a bottle. I remember I wanted this so bad um, about seven, eight years ago because they, I thought it was discontinued that I ordered it from a company and I actually paid like $125 for it. So, which was ridiculous, but then, you know, today you can find it on Amazon um, and a lot of other sites for about $30. So get your nose on this, a really um, good smelling light fragrance. Um, I think we have a couple more and then I'll let you guys um, 
not go, but you know, just take a look at the beach a little bit. So um, this is Balda Freak by Balreda by Rado. Um, everybody knows Balda Freak. Um, this is considered a citrusy, aromatic. We got a little bit of music in the background. Somebody just turned some music on. Uh, citrusy, aromatic. And um, this has Almafi lemon. This has black currant, African orange flower. Um, it has violet, vetiver, jasmine, and more. You know, but everybody knows this is a very fresh, um, fruity, floral, spring fragrance. A lot of people don't like the patchouli in here. They say it's like a dirty patchouli, but actually I have grown to love it. Um, I do have to overspray this, but it does last about six to eight hours. Um, so this is Ball de Free. Last but not least, we have Dolce Almafi. Um, and this is one that I purchased this year. Um, this is a Sorry, an ambery fragrance. It's really fresh, it's warm spicy. And I think the warm spicy comes from the um, the saffron that's in here. Fresh, warm, spicy, balsamic. And in the notes you have pink or quince, you have cardamom, you have apple, you have saffron, you have cloves, uh, you have total blossom, incense, vanilla, amber, um, tonka bean, and musk. So, um, I really, really like this fragrance. I do have to overspray it. Uh, my clothes are blowing in the wind. Um, I do have to overspray it. It's an amazing fragrance by the House of Zerzhov. Um, I, it gives you a very unique scent. I think it's the apple blossom, the quince, and the saffron um, that makes it smell like a little spicy. So if you can, get your nose on this. They have very stunning bottles. Uh, all beautiful fragrances that I have this year. I, I pretty much bought this year. So, you know, if you can, um, get your nose on some of the House of Zerzhov's fragrances. That is all for today, you all. I thank you all for joining me. I hope the camera's not too dusty, you know, and that you can see. I'm gonna wipe that off again, you know, and that you can see kind of what's going on and the sun in the background. And, you know, um, today's a beautiful Sunday. Like I said, go out, enjoy the weather, you know, uh, relax before we get our work week started. And you know, just have an amazing time. I'll let you all enjoy some of the scenery of the beach and the noise, you know. <laughs> and uh, you know, just enjoy, enjoy life, okay? I'm just gonna come, I brought my salad, you know. I'm gonna eat my salad, I brought me some water. You know those salads from uh, Trader Joe's. I brought me a nice apple to eat. You know, hopefully I don't get sand in my mouth. And I brought me like a nice 